What's going on guys, Swerve Phantom here, and today we're going to be talking about how to stop the cross crease pass in NHL 21. So this is the main way that people have been scoring in this game in ESHL, in HUT, online versus any way you play the game, making that cross crease pass has been the most effective way to score. So we're going to talk about how to stop it and then maybe what to do after you stop it. The main way to stop the cross crease pass is going to be your body positioning. So it may seem a bit obvious, but for some, maybe they don't know the best way to position your body to actually pick off the pass almost every time. So what you're going to want to do is face the player that's passing the puck. Make sure your guy is actually looking at him even if your stick is facing that way you think you're in the right position we all we've all had those moments where the puck goes right through your legs and you're like bro i was right there but you're not looking anywhere near where the play actually is happening so just make sure you use your lt position yourself in a way that you're looking at the guy your stick's facing the guy ev everything you need in your favor because ea is not going to help you at all so you need to do everything you possibly can to make sure that you feel in your bones that you are in position to pick off that pass body positioning is key Using the LT, being able to shimmy yourself, if you can tap the LT a little bit, make sure to shimmy your position as best you can, especially coming down the wing, and pick off those passes before they get through the slot. The second way we're going to talk about it, the traits. Now this is going to be big. This is the only way that EA can actually help you, and this is more for ESHL, but also when you're looking through teams and HUT, pick up players that have the best uh, statistics in these categories. So the traits that are most effective are defensive awareness, so that's going to be absolutely huge and stick checking first defensive awareness so this is the number one factor in whether you are going to pick off a pass in the defensive zone or not also helps with getting pucks out of the corners different things in the defensive zone but for picking off these passes defensive awareness is key so if you're using a defensive build you're going to want to make sure that your defensive awareness is over 90 would be preferable check out i have a video on my channel explaining the best defenseman builds in nhl 21 both of them have defensive awarenesses of 91 or even higher so 93 95 if you can some really great traits that help you out with defensive awareness interceptor is great it it says it right in the name it's for intercepting those cross crease passes so definitely utilize that and make sure you pair the body positioning with the defensive awareness another one that sneaks up on people is the stick checking and it's not going to work for just the the standing in the way of the pass that's not what stick checking is going to do for you but it's going to help you poke checking some of those passes that go across so when you're not in a position to just cleanly cut it off you can send that poke check in the middle of the lane and hope to hit it obviously not the best practice the best scenario but if you're in a pinch and you need to poke at a pass stick checking is obviously going to help you accomplish that another thing we're going to talk about when it comes to stopping the cross crease pass is going to be disaster scenarios so obviously there's times when you're not in the best position you weren't ready for it a turnover something crazy happens there's a few things that you can do in disaster scenarios that will help you pick off those passes more often than just watching them go through and having a goal in the back of your net. First is going to be diving. A lot of people don't like diving, tripping penalties happen. You gotta do it smartly. That's why this is called disaster scenarios. This is not an every time sort of motion, but if you have to dive back on a two on one, if you're a little behind the play, don't be afraid to. Obviously don't go at the person's ankles, but if you can cut off the play, in the right scenario and go straight down the middle and dive in front of a passing lane i've done it many a time and it's great and it'll put the puck right in your goalie's lap hopefully if they sauce it over your back there's nothing you can do you tried but in an absolute pinch don't be afraid to dive it's not the worst thing you could possibly do another one like i alluded to earlier poking the passing lane this is more for a stationary pass so if, if you're in the slot but you see the guy kind of getting behind you and, and it's tough to react throw your stick in the lane as long as there's not a guy there you're not going to hit any skates what can it hurt obviously if you're in a better position, don't poke because it'll go under you. But if you're a little ahead of it, you see yourself out of the way, fire your stick out there, try to poke it as best you can. That's where stick checking is going to come in. That's another great disaster scenario if you absolutely have to. So first, you're going to want to keep your positioning in the way. If you can't do that, use your stick to try to poke at that passing lane as best you can. The last thing we're going to talk about is when you actually pick off that pass, what are we going to do in the slot to get rid of that? Obviously, when you pick off a cross crease pass, you're sitting right in front of your own goaltender with the puck not a great spot to be in with a bunch of people crashing down and you trying to put that in the back of your net so there's a few things you can do to just get rid of it quickly the first one's going to be a quick pass a one touch pass it's tough to do if, especially in on the fly because it's tough to know exactly where you want to go with the puck at all times if you can just kind of fire it out to the the closest guy that looks open out of the middle of course that's going to be your best bet to cleanly get rid of it. other ways you can do it in an absolute pinch don't be afraid to slap it away if it goes down the ice sure it's fine you stop the a would-be goal for that cross crease so just get rid of it is never a bad thing don't be afraid to 
to just get it out of the zone, get it to the corner. Just make sure you don't sit there and get yourself stick lifted. Puck ends up in the back of your net anyway. The biggest part about picking up a pass or picking off a pass is to get rid of the puck as quickly as you possibly can in any means necessary. So guys, to wrap this up, the most important things when trying to stop the cross freeze pass in NHL 21 are gonna be body positioning. The traits that we talked about, defensive awareness is huge. Make sure that's definitely over a 90, maybe 95 if you can even get it there. And stick checking for those would be disaster scenarios. What to do in those disaster scenarios. So dive, poke the passing lane, do anything you can to get between the two offensive players and just get that puck out of there. And of course, what to do, get rid of the puck as soon as you can. Seems like common knowledge, but some people just don't think that fast on the fly. Just have it in your head, get rid of the puck as soon as you touch it. Nothing good is going to come of you standing in front of the net with the puck. So guys, that's it. That is how to stop the cross crease in NHL 21 in almost any game mode. Thanks for checking out the video and we will see you.